Thank you. It's a pleasure for me to be here uh, this evening. My name is Jim Milanazzo. It's a pleasure right now of serving as your mayor. Uh, I want to thank my colleagues on the city council for giving me that honor and privilege. I'm serving my fourth term on the Lowell City Council, and over the years, I've been involved in public safety issues, neighborhood issues, zoning issues. I've served in a number of subcommittees that relate uh, and, and work uh, on those particular issues. I'm most proud of the fact that we have transparency in our local government. We work very well with the neighborhood groups uh, that are here uh, this evening. I want to thank you all for putting on these series of uh, forums. I think the communication and dialogue will be very uh, productive as we, as we go forward. Uh, public safety is, is very important to the neighborhoods, very important to the downtown. A number of us were at a public safety uh, subcommittee meeting uh, this evening where we talked about what's going on in the downtown. And over the last few years, the chief just walked in, over the last few years, we've actually, we've actually added over 2,000 housing units in the downtown, mostly market rate housing units. And with that comes certain growing pains that we have to deal with. And working in collaboration with the police department, with the neighborhood group, it's all been very important. Very proud of the zoning changes we've made to our zoning code. We now have the stretch code uh, working in the city, bringing uh, new businesses, uh, bigger uh, uses of uh, mill space into, into the downtown, and that's very important. But looking at the zoning issues as it relates to the problem that we had over here on, uh, over in the Highlands on Livingston, Livingston Avenue, uh, dealing with that. I know that we're dealing with the frontage issue as it relates to that particular issue. But it's just very important to keep the lines of communication open between the neighborhood groups, the city council, the city administration, and as mayor, as you know, I get to serve as chairman of the Lowell School uh, Committee as well. And the school department working in partnership with the University of Massachusetts at Lowell, with Middlesex Community College, is really a public school system that's second to none. And with that, your property values, my property values, can, uh, will be stabilized. I know we're still in an economic downturn. President Obama is speaking this evening, and I'm, I'm hopeful uh, that we're going to be able to garner some stimulus money going forward. To, create, to keep the police department and the fire department at the level it is today. So again, thank you all very much. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. I'm looking forward to uh, at least two of the next three neighborhood meetings. I do have a, a school committee meeting on September 21st. Jim, Jim Leary might be willing to uh, act as the uh, as the chair of the meeting, but uh, but I do have that uh, that night, so I may not be at the next one, but I will certainly um, be at the last uh, the last two. Um, as it relates to uh, public safety and neighborhood issues, I think you all asked very uh, pertinent questions this evening, and I think that my, my colleagues and uh, the uh, other candidates here certainly did a wonderful job answering those questions. And again, transparency in government is very key to, to me as a city councilor, and I think that uh, if you look at a city like Lowell, we have 13 and a half square miles, we're a population of 104,000, we have very active neighborhood groups, and you're all to be congratulated for the work that you do on behalf of your neighborhoods. And I think that the fact that public safety is paramount to, to your concerns as a neighborhood group, and the fact, again, that the chief is here, we have a very active um, uh, community policing effort in, in the city, I think that's gone a long way to improve the quality of life in, in our neighborhoods. And if I'm fortunate enough to get reelected to the city council, I will certainly continue to work on neighborhood issues and certainly public safety issues as well. So again, thank you very much. Thank you.